The next section of the Merchant Portal we're going to take a look at is your Orders tab. From here, you'll find at the very top three different sections, one being active, which will show any orders that are actively going on at the store that were placed through DoorDash. Scheduled orders will be anything that was placed in advance for a scheduled time. You can adjust the date range. So there's today and preceding days that follow. And history will show any orders that were completed. So you can see the order status showing completed. Sometimes it'll show canceled and it'll indicate if you received payment or not for these orders. And additionally, you can click to expand and see the order in more depth from this pop-out window on the right. If you're looking to reconcile, I definitely suggest using the transactions tab. There's a link found at the very top here, or you can always navigate under financials to transactions. Either way works. But it'll take you to this section that's very similar to orders, just a much more high level overview. Here you can see at the bottom, we can see similar orders that we saw on the previous page. However, it's providing a lot more payment information on the surface level without having to click in and expand. However, if you do click the order ID, it provides the same pop-out window that we saw previously. And then at the very top here as well, you'll see a high level breakdown of the payment to be expected from the orders that are populating down here. So you can see a net total, you can see the overall sales, the commission, and how the breakdown is factored when it comes to the payments. Additionally as well, like we saw in the past with the reports tab, there is a button here at the very top that says create a report. By clicking this, it's the same action as if you clicked the report button. Instead, it just auto populates to a financials report. So you can always click back here and change the report type, but by clicking create a report from the transactions page, it'll auto populate to a financial report. And in the next screen recording, we'll be looking at the marketing tab.